It is 8 a.m. And why are we going to Amana Goes? Um, the last dump truck is coming. <laughs> They're making fun of how I say dump truck, which is more slang for the butt of which you poop out of rather than junk truck. Well, I'm dump tired. truck is just your butt, not you. Like, people are like, yo, she got a dump truck. Maybe like 80% all that were disowned by our grandpa today. Yeah. 80 percentage, yeah. Potentially had a little outburst, but you know, we're working through it. So stay My tuned. face is so round. Man. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> We're having a little bit of a generational conflict and apparently we're very bad Chinese granddaughters so we're working through that. I don't want to go inside. <laughs> That's like... But my sister saw what I look like when I'm triggered. Nadia, we grew up with you. I freeze. But it's different when you see me being yelled at by a man. Because yeah. my trauma is different with scary men. With, I feel like with, uh, triggered. with women, with, yeah, with when I'm, if it's like with my family and I'm triggered, then I fight. And then with, with like scary men, because I like violent nervousness, then I just freeze. Yeah. I think I just check out. We all just, we're all just sitting here in the car avoiding going in dissociated as fuck. Yeah. Like. Our youngest sister, our baby sister, is protecting us because she's the least mental disorder. She's the least mental disorder. We can hear him yelling. Okay, let's go. Wish us luck. We got disowned. We're not really sure why. She told me. She doesn't want to say bye to me, man. Well, I made her say goodbye to me. That's how we know that we're disowned. Because she fucking told me. Yeah, we, we heard through the door. So before we go to the airport, we're literally filling up two more because we're disowned, so our grandma isn't even saying bye. Grandma isn't saying bye, but we finally negotiated to be able to do this one last cleanup before we leave. Yay. Okay, y'all, we're officially disowned by our grandmother at least. This is our post disowned picture. Um, and Issa really saved the relationship with her grandfather because he really lost it at her. A man and I were triggered in the car, as you saw. Um, a man and I, we don't have a flight until this evening. 8 p.m. Yeah, so and we're, we're on home. We're actually 10 to 12 hours early for our flight, but we're not welcome there. So we're just gonna go chill at the airport. Why did we get disowned? We're bad Chinese granddaughters. <laughs> We're a little loud and rambunctious. Cultural difference. Cultural yeah. difference. Um, but yeah, actually, technically, Emma disowned us. She said that we could have a relationship with Agu, though. Yeah, our grandmother disowned us. Um, so yeah, we're going to the airport, and we're just gonna be hanging there, which is fine. I have work. I disowned yeah. you. I disowned you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we I Amanda and I were like listening to them through the door. We don't know. It was more like a 2 a.m. text, like, out of nowhere. Hey, you up? You're disowned. Y'all, I got on an earlier flight. My flight was supposed to be at 6 p.m. Now I'm getting on a flight at noon, which just feels so good. I have to cancel some of my meetings. I'm going to work on the plane. Um, but it means, you know, a man and I are just, like, chilling at the airport. We're just going to be here and be sad about being disowned. But now I get to go home, and guess what? It's Henry and my two-year anniversary uh, of like meeting for the first time. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the flight really wasn't that bad. It was practically an empty flight, which is kind of sad for the environment, but um, definitely nice, especially just because I wanted to be alone and I was just like so 
confused and uh, to pass the time, I basically just tried to catch up on as much work as possible. I was so exhausted just emotionally. And I think, you know, when your depression kicks in and all you want to do is like sleep and your whole body aches, that's kind of how I was feeling on the plane. Um, but I drank some coffee, which was really gross. Um, and then just did a lot of work. I've also been listening to the book uh, Shrill by Linda West, and I loved that. Um, yeah, so I landed at JFK around like 2.20. It felt like the evening. I was so tired, uh, but I just kind of cleaned up from the plane. And then I took the air train and the subway back to my apartment, which was so such a relief. And thank goodness, because I made it back in time for my favorite workout class, Solid Core, um, which to me is really like really like kind of temple like a great reset um i'm not super religious anymore but it felt like a a kind of spiritual moment of just being able to be grounded after like such a crazy morning okay reason number 700 why i'm enjoying this vlogging thing so part of having borderline personality disorder is i feel really insecure about what my reality is or like if it's in my head or if it's in someone else's head and it's from prolonged trauma of being gaslit about my emotions and my reality. So I'm documenting like how I'm feeling so I can like remember this and watch back on it. But one thing I've been thinking about in the last 10 minutes of being on the air train is like, I'm angry that I'm disowned and upset. Like it's not about money, but I'm working through my money issues. And I feel like I made a lot of progress because I spent literally over $2,000 on the junk trucks this weekend. Like literally over $2,000. And that's more than I ever spent on myself. And I wanted to do it because I love my grandparents. But I feel like I was wanting to make up for lost time. And I was really trying to think about like building the foundational part of our relationship that would hopefully continue. And now that's like apparently not a thing. And I feel like I mean, my grandpa has already reached out. My grandma's like strict on disowning us, but my grandpa's already reached out and like acting like nothing happened. And I'm just like confused, right? No wonder I have BPD and BPD is like fucking genetic and runs in the family. It's just freaking crazy. Anyways, I'm getting on the subway. I made it back to New York City in time for my workout class, which you know is like my therapy slash like coping mechanism. And it's Henry and my two year anniversary. I got disowned this morning for not being like Chinese, you know, conservative, respectful, private enough. And Henry got me this. It's a flashing woman necklace. Sad, dissociated, but I'm gonna be okay. Did a great workout class, came home, showered. Definitely dissociated a bit, but I'm gonna breathe healing so fucking thankful for my sisters that's what i've been thinking about and i'm gonna go have dinner now because henry and i met two years ago exactly today so overall a roller coaster of a fucking day a roller coaster of a day got disowned had to move my flight got home early got back to new york went to workout class which is like my favorite i literally needed to go to this workout class with like my favorite one of my favorite instructors shower dinner and then i gotta do some work but then i'm gonna go to sleep early and pass the fuck out i'm okay favorite food